defense, entitled History Will Absolve Me. It would become the inspiration for the revolution. Yo tuve mi, mi actitud de rebeldía, me aislaron. Tenía todo el tiempo para leer. Leía 12 horas, 14 horas, 16 horas. Y después nunca he tenido oportunidad de leer tantas horas en mí. Fidel and his companions were freed after two years. Batista, giving in to popular protest, declared a general amnesty for political prisoners. Six weeks after their release, Fidel left for Mexico, and there, with a group of followers, they planned a new attempt to overthrow the dictator. Looking for support, Fidel toured Cuban communities in the United States, in New York, New Jersey, and Florida. Many sympathizers, both rich and poor, contributed to his cause. By the following year, 1956, Fidel had assembled the nucleus of a guerrilla force and felt ready to return to Cuba. A young Argentine doctor, Ernesto Che Guevara, joined them. En los unió en primer lugar sus ideales. Hay una pequeña escrito, un pequeño escrito de mi papá donde dice, me pasé toda la noche hablando con el jefe, sí, con Fidel, y al otro día amanecí siendo miembro de su, de su grupo, ¿no? After the legendary 12-hour meeting, Che's life became an important part of the Cuban Revolution. 82 people, including Che, set out from Mexico on the cabin cruiser Granma. An uprising in Santiago de Cuba was planned to coincide with their arrival. Horas antes de entrar ese embarco, se cayó un hombre al agua. Empezaron a buscarlo y el hombre no aparecía y gritábamos, "Apulanito, Roque, Roque, y no aparecía Roque." Hasta, hasta que al final y se fue y de aquí no nos vamos hasta que no lo hasta que no lo salvemos. Eso conmovió a la gente, le levantó la, la, la combatividad al escuchar esa frase. Y decir, coño, con este hombre no hay, no hay abandonado. ¿Y lo encontraron? No hay olvidado. Sí, sí, lo encontramos, lo encontramos. A costa de que se, se echara a perder la, la, la expedición. The synchronization of the uprising and landing failed. The Batista military successfully put down the revolt in the city. The grandma arrived two days later than expected, and the group landed in a mangrove swamp. The 82 men scattered, but were soon discovered by Batista's forces. Fidel and a few others escaped and refused to admit defeat. Of the original 82, only 21 managed to regroup in the Sierra Maestra Mountains. This is where the guerrilla war began, and the initial group was able to survive and grow. Che Guevara was the group's doctor. The first commandant that did Fidel Castro in the Sierra, with the consensus of all of us, said, here has to be the first commandant, Che. Porque es el más preparado, porque conoce los caminos, porque para mí es el más estratega. Fue el che. Después fue Raúl y yo, y después Camilo, Ramirito y los demás. Fue después. Much of their support came from the farmers in the Sierra Maestra Mountains. Some of them joined the guerrillas and became commanders. Both men and women soon joined Fidel's guerrilla movement, and despite traditional male prejudice, a women's battalion was formed. One of the most important people in his life was a woman called Celia Sanchez. She was the daughter of a rural physician. Her father had provided free health care to many of the poor, impoverished rural people in the area, and she was very much attracted to Fidel's revolutionary movement. Celia Sanchez remained at Fidel's side for 20 years and held important government posts until her death in 1980. Fidel and his commanders built up their 26th of July movement guerrilla army from a wide range of political allegiances. 
Batista's forces were trained by the United States, which also armed them with tanks, artillery, and aircraft. They threw all that force against the guerrillas in a war that lasted two years. The 26th of July had a strong underground movement in the cities. Uh, there were sabotage efforts against the Batista government and demonstrations and so forth. The Batista government reacted very strongly. Uh, bodies were left on the side of the road, uh, students, uh, young people who were suspected of being rebel sympathizers were shot, or in some cases jailed and tortured. Uh, as a result of all that, public opinion turned massively against uh, Batista. An estimated 20,000 people were murdered by government forces during the Batista dictatorship. The rebels put out leaflets and a newspaper, and by 1958 also had a radio station keeping the people informed about developments. Fidel's interviews with foreign journalists ended rumors that he had been killed. Aware of the importance of the media, he made sure he was accessible to the press, even in English. Our political philosophy is representative democracy and social justice in a well-planned economy. Muchas de las cosas que hicimos están por encima de lo que nos imaginábamos en aquella época. Y algunas cosas de las ocurridas han sido más difíciles también y más duras de las que nos imaginábamos en aquella época. In January 1959, Fidel made a triumphal entry in Havana. It had taken 25 months to defeat Batista. With victory achieved, Fidel sought to make Cuba a united and independent nation. I'll never forget that first speech that he gave a few days after he had entered Havana. I was watching on television but they released a flight of doves, a symbol of peace. But one of the doves uh, fluttered up into the air and landed on his shoulder. There was a gasp because uh, the pigeon uh, was the messenger of Oshun sent to uh, indicate the anointed one. Todo el mundo se emocionó. Este es un pueblo que en los años aquellos era muy creyente. El otro era más de sincretismo, ¿no? más de las cosas africanas, las palomas, el barrio. Ya a partir de allí, la gente pensaba que Fidel era el, el, enviado, de, el enviado de Cristo aquí, ¿viste? Just 30 days ago, Fidel Castro entered Havana to be greeted by cheering mobs as one of the greatest heroes in Cuba's history. A week before that, General Batista and his top aides had fled the country, leaving it to Castro, his rebel army, and their supporters. Good evening, Fidel Castro. You must have had a very busy week. How do you feel? Well, I feel, really, feel well, something tired. I'm told that you saw your mother for the first time in four years this Christmas Eve. That must have been quite a reunion. What did she have to say to you? She began to cry at the beginning, and that in several minutes she could not tell any word to me. Fidelito. <laughs> Hello, Fidel Jr. Hi. That's a very good-looking puppy you have there. Is he yours? No, it's somebody gave it to my father for a present. Uh-huh. When do you think you'll be visiting us again? Oh, well, I shoot the light. I think when I have a chance. Well, will that be uh, with the beard or without it? <laughs> well, it's possible if I go soon to the United 